All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We have another standard deck today, and we're going to be playing a deck submitted by the one and only in the chat, no less, RPG Badger. Um, this is an elves list. Uh, I thought it was just a regular mid range list. However, we got a lot of elves in this bad boy. We got Elvish Clan Caller, Llanowar Elves, Thorn Lieutenant. Let's put all the elves over here. Thorn Lieutenant is an elf. You might not have known that. Um, we have Marwyn, also an elf, so it gets triggered by all the elves. O Okran Assassin, which I have not just badgered. Please. My father was RPG Badger. You can just call me Badger. Uh, Okran Assassin, which I also did not know was an elf. Beast Whisperer, was like, which I also did not know was an elf. Steel Leaf Champion. You know what I'm going to say. I didn't know it was an elf. I had no idea. And then we have things like Vivian Reed, Vraska's Contempt, Gift, Assassin Trophy, and Camaraderie, which I'm super excited about playing in a Constructed deck because I have to assume it's going to draw us four or five cards, right? Poison Tip Archer also seems pretty good. And, uh, yeah, all right. So, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't want to make any changes to this deck yet because I actually don't know what to expect right now. So I think we're just going to play it as is and then see what we need to work on. So, there you go. I, I'm excited about playing with uh, Clan Caller, Thorn Lieutenant, Marwyn, Steel Leaf Champion, and Beast Whisperer, and Okran Assassin in Constructed. So, let's do it. Let's get her done, as the kids say. You <laughs> kids with your lingo. <laughs> Am I right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, what up, Libel Intel? Okay, so you know what my my biggest uh, desire in the mostly green deck is to have enough forests or green manas. What do we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have 20 green sources and we just didn't hit a green source? What a time to be alive. I want a mulligan for obvious reasons. Yeah, this is, there we go. Here we go. Now we're on the... Yeah, you can go away. What are you, 85? <laughs> oh, I'm just eating my Tootsie Rolls and talking about you kids and your lingos. When you guys were kids, did you ever play with lingos? Those little blocks that you can put together, the lingos? The fuck? I mean, what is he talking about? I think he's having a stroke right here on the stream. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hello. Steel Leaf Champion? Negative. Do I want to trade? I don't know. I do want one overgrown. Eh, whatever. I don't want to take two against the aggressive deck, but I do want to get this out in case we draw another black so we can Vraska's Contempt. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. Everybody wins. Oh, look at that. It's a it's a it's a champion of the parish. That's not what it is. I don't know why I even said that. What a weirdo. I have nothing to do here. God, don't play another history of Benalia. I don't feel like we can this looks like one of the six white red decks that top eight at the PT. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. Here we go. Yep. All right. Don't have another history of Benalia. You mean like this? Yeah, I did. I did mean like that. I did. I guess I'll just kill one. And, uh,. Except my fate. It's not looking good, guys. Okay, we're having a good time.
Yeah. Yeah. Three, six. Yeah, we're going to go to the next game. Do you ever wonder who heard Vraska that she has all this contempt? Um, yeah. You know, I do. Let's play Ritual of Soot. Let's bring this one Ritual of Soot in, which seems uh, like not enough Rituals of Soot. I'm also going to take out the Assassins here, and I'm going to bring in Rex Sages. Hmm. Take out one Camaraderie, I guess. We'll see how that goes. Do you have to get hurt to have contempt now? But I bet it helps. Wow, Silas of the Lambs, we said the exact same thing. Soulmates. Yeah, I don't even know what you're thinking with the reckoning. You amateur hour, am I right? I'll keep this hand. Thorn into Marwin into Clan Collar seems pretty good. I mean, if we hit a third land anyway. How many lands are in the deck? 24, hopefully. Okay, good. We did it. Boom, 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 boom. Land. That was a good one. I'm a fan. So we get to go Marwin, and then turn after that, we get to go Clan Caller, and then we'll have four here. It's a good amount of mana. I mean, presuming they don't. Oh, now I just want a ritual of soot, but we don't have a second black, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stifle my own plans for that. I always think this guy is Sylvan Advocate because they're both two threes for two with really with pump abilities. Um, so I always want to attack with it, and then I'll be like, oh, I'll just block again as well. But that's not how that works. So. Yeah, I'll take three here. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So what we're going to do is go Clan Caller. Puts Marwin's power up to three. Then we can tap Marwin to play Rex Sage. And do we want to kill this or this? Probably this. I mean, if you wanna if you wanna throw away these guys, that's fine with me. Just to flip your Adanto's last stand, the first fort, whatever last stand, first fort. Uh oh, oh, that's baffling. Get rid of clan color here. Oh, you go to Marwin. Okay, that's fine. I mean, she did her job. Hmm. That is a solid gentleman. Well, I can't give you all the time in the world here, so I'm going to get in there with this guy. Do you have thoughts about Rexage versus Thrashing Bronson on a regular Black Green deck? Uh, I actually like uh, Rexage a lot better because you get to keep the creature. And it doesn't cost four to destroy an enchantment. So you can play it. If they go if they go History of Benalia on three, you can also, and then your turn three is after that, you can play your own Rexage and kill it. Whereas otherwise you play Brontodon and you can't kill it. And then they go, all right, make a second token. And then it's just, you're just behind at that point. Um, I think the ability to play Rexage and keep Rexage 
while destroying the artifact or enchantment is better than being able to have a 3-4 for 3, and then if you need to kill the enchantment, you get nothing out of it. That's my opinion. Baffling End, History of Benalia. Sure, that's actually fine here. I feel like we're not uh, terribly far behind, so. Black mana. No black mana? This is fine. Take out two tokens. You can get a land. Not a big deal. This guy's probably going to kill you at some point. Like, you just can't block it at all, so. You sound like a 20-year-long smile. Yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting. Oh God! Listen, I just need you to listen to me. I'm I I have a, I'm having a bad day. I can't explain to you why I'm having such a bad day. I just want you to listen to me. Do I trade with this guy or do I just kill this guy? Or make them pay four? Rather, they go to eight. E I don't know. Maybe. I don't want to take six here. Arg. I'm going to trade with this guy. Nah. I actually have no idea what the block is here. Like, Vanguard seems fine, but they don't, they don't do anything. Like, it doesn't... They're going to gain two anyway, so they're going to go to ten. Whatever. I think it's fine. Maybe they just let it die. I doubt it. Ooh, they did not let it die. That was actually, that was the draw we were looking for here. So, you're a knight, but I'm going to kill you. You're a soldier. So you're a knight. Get in there with this guy. Ritual of Soot is tempting, but it kills all of our things. So I don't actually like Ritual of Soot, even if it is good against these situations. I think I'm much more inclined to play like Golden Demise in this deck. Because it doesn't kill all of our creatures. The 2 3 survive, the 5 4 survives. It would kill Clan Caller, but I mean. You still get to keep your relevant spells while they, like, they would lose everything but this guy, and it does kill Adanto Vanguard. <clears throat> I'm getting rid of this guy now because I don't, I don't think they have anything that they can really do in response, but I'd rather not deal with it. And now they're also in top deck mode where they have to actually find an answer to this guy. Because they're going to go to five. And they're going to gain one from this, which is six. But. So this is seven. I think we can just take seven pretty easily. Just block here. Boy, this my throat does feel scratchy. It does sound scratchy. Yeah. All right. So how are you still alive? I'm not sure I understand. With power two or less, that's all of your guys. Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so 
a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <coughs> I almost like naturally naturalize better than ritual because they have multiple. Um... Also, Rex Sage should just be a four of. If you're going to put in naturalize, you just pay one more and have four, four Rex Sages. Add you, take you out, take you out, take the infernals out, take the ritual out. Like demise wipes their whole board, so it's I'd, I'd say this is a pretty good addition. The only thing it kills in our deck is clan caller and elf, right? Marwin should be big enough to survive it, and everything else survives. Ochre and assassin, sure, but you can. I mean, it's very easy to play around. You can just not play those guys or board them out. I don't think we care about growing rights either. I think I just want to have the Vraska's Contempt in here. hand's rough. I don't actually like Field of Ruin in here at all because you're trying to steal each champion on three. And there's no real lands that I'm super, super concerned. I'm supposed to, well, I'm supposed to be changing it already. That's the whole point, right? If I wasn't changing it, then I feel like you're not even getting your values worth. Uh, we're going to mulligan this hand. This is better. I'm going to bottom this even though we are on the draw. I don't really, I really want to guarantee a third land. He wanted to change my deck before he queued the first match. <laughs> like, I can't imagine playing one of your decks and just being like anybody's deck and just being like, yeah, I don't want to change anything. This seems good. Let's play it like this. Then I feel like you're just, then you just want validation. You're like, let me validate myself. They can't even actually sit around the 20th. Just got to find some old types. Oh, man, Zaichi, you guys are gas. So I think Vili is sending me a package from India. Zaichi is sending me a package. I think I'm getting a package from Canada. You guys are going to, like, this is pretty ridiculous. This is going to be a lot of stream, uh, stream snackage going on. I don't think I want to kill either of these guys. So cringy. Much cringe. <laughs> Lots of exotic bugs from all those shipments. Yikes. Yep, this is rough. Uh, definitely wanted to hit a land. We have 24 lands and 4... Four Land War Elves, so like this shouldn't be an issue. I don't like the gift though, I'd rather just play another Marwyn. Um, they're both ramping us by one, but this is much better for our elf strategy. And this is, I think it's like a random one of gift, right? Oh, two, two gifts. I don't think I like growing rights at all because you just don't need the mana for anything. Oh man. Oh man. I don't know how we, I don't like, I don't think we can actually win this game. Like, Against the against these aggressive white red decks, like just being missing a land drop is just so so brutal. <clears throat> One, two, 
Well, right, but there's only like two Marwin in the deck right now, so it'd be three of, and I think that's fine. Yep, this is pretty hard to deal with. Yep, all right, so that'll be the end of that one. All right. What's up, Ryan? Good seeing you, buddy. Always a pleasure. Um, all right, I like camaraderie. Let's look up Elf. Elf in standard. What do we got here? Oh, District Guide is an option just to hit a land drop. But I wonder if we... Do we not want just... Do we not want Amara? She is an elf. Interesting. The mana base would be a little different, but we do have Temple Gardens and Sun Petal Groves that we can just add. I'm going to take the Field of Ruin out. I don't, I don't like it when we have so many mana requirements. Like, double black, double green, triple green, double green, double green, single green. Like, I'd much rather have another... Uh, probably land that comes into play untapped on turn one. All right. Uh, I do like Druid of the Cowl a lot. I like Druid of the Cowl better than Elves as well, almost. Because Druid of the Cowl does manage to survive Golden Demise. This is an elf, which is pretty funny. It's like the creepiest elf I've, elf, elf, creepiest elf I've ever seen. Um, I actually like Conclave Cavalier a lot, but I don't want to make this a, uh, I actually like Assure Assemble a lot. Hmm. It's a little expensive, but. Is Knight of, Knight of Autumn is not an elf, it is a human, a human. I don't think this is an Izoni deck, but maybe it could be. I can't imagine not having four Steel Leaf Champions. Like, one of the best things you can do in this format is turn one Lana Werewolf into turn two Steel Leaf Champions. So I'm going to put the four Steel Leaf Champion in the deck. Take out the Growing Rights. Like, if you want Gift of Paradise <clears throat> to ramp us, I'd much rather just have another Druid of the Cowl. Like, two Druids for two Gift. That just seems better. Um, four Overgrowns. Can you please say whipped, whipped, whipped? Why are you saying it like that? What? I'm just saying whipped. Why are you saying it all weird? What? I'm just saying whipped. Whipped. Yeah, Corset Cube was surprisingly good. Uh, one more sideboard card. I'm actually considering... So, I don't like Silent Gravestone because you're not targeting cards and graveyards in this format you're literally just either jump starting or you're bringing bring arc light phoenix back it's good it's good against the golgari decks right but just like the last video i'd rather just have death gorge scavenger it's not an elf obviously but i think it's just better it does the thing you want we can take the contempt out i don't think we're gonna need a third what are the whip what are the what are the poison tip archers for the poison Whip archers. What are these guys for? Explain them to me. Silent Gravestone? How does it hit Rekindling Phoenix? It just says cards and graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. Does Rekindling Phoenix target a... Uh, does it target itself? Re... I don't have that. All right, we'll just... This card's like 30 tickets, so I understand why I don't have Rekindling Phoenix. Uh, return target card. Yeah, I guess that's true. Okay. I mean, so does Death Gorge Scavenger, though, right? Like, you can just eat it. Um, my only, one of my main issues is that the only removal we have is Vraska's Contempt and two Assassin's Trophies. I'm not sure if that's enough. So you do kind of want more explosive draws. Uh, was Sentinel Totem. Uh, 
Uh, Exile. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Just, just I don't think this. I don't like the fact that like I mean like this guy does something. There's only like one or two cards you ever want to hit with, with a sentinel with a scavenger, right? Like you want to hit a radical thought, radical ideas, beacon bolt, and chemistry's insight, and like uh, arclight phoenix. Like those are the ones you really care about. Typically, if you're able to get this guy down, um, you've done some damage. What am I missing? Pelt Collector is a dude. I think that's the only, like, the only elf I didn't have uh, visible. Yes. <sighs> I don't know if we care about Pelt Collector, though. All right, I think we can try it like this. I think this is a, a reasonable change. Uh, we have golden demise. We have three in the sideboard. Definitely don't want it in the main deck, but sideboard seems good. All right, let's give it another. Cheese on toast. It's your boy, cheese on toast. Yep, we'll keep this hand. Josh, do me a favor. Um, get it together. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, a a basic Amonkhet Mountain to start off with. Okay, okay. Uh oh, it's your boy. It's my boy. Oh, that blocks all the things. Unfortunately, like I think we just want more black sources as well. Do we have four wood woodland woodland cemeteries and four overgrowns? Those are important. Let's find out. Four overgrowns and four woodlands. Yep. All right. Okay. No attacks. No attacks. Because we, we have a lot of double black requirements, and we want to play two black spells on one turn sometimes. But we cannot do that. That's a dude. Ooh, no attacks again, huh? Okay. <clears throat> so we can play a Vivian. We'll put All right, let's try that again. We can play Vivian Reed and plus her up to six. We would have one blocker in that situation, so we could block here. Take one, two, three, four. This card's legal and standard? What a time to be alive. What set was Goblin Warchief in? Dominaria. That makes sense. I can see that. Dom. So our only real option is this and Assassin's Trophy. I feel like I just had a magic trivia game. All right, for for one booster pack of Guilds of Ravnica, what set was Goblin War Chief in? Say your answers now. That's true. Yeah, I never wanted to draft it because it just didn't do anything. So uh, it was never a high pick. <clears throat> Legion War Boss? Yeah, that guy's dead. <coughs> I'll shoot you an email for that booster of legends from winning Troy. Wow. Yeah, do that. Just make sure uh make sure you include your address. 
And uh, it's going to be like, I think it's going to be like $400 to ship. So be sure to include $400 for shipping because that's important. Let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, it's overnight, definitely. There's a lot of things. This is where the golden demise comes in. Oh, geez, we're having a good time. <clears throat> so about that golden demise. What is this Okran assassin doing for us? That's my question. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is aggressive. This is aggressive. I will block you and block you, I suppose. But one, two, three, four, taking nine. I don't know. That's not the worst, I guess. It's not great. <clears throat> wow. Well, that's a guy. I think we're dead. We can block here. Here we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we're not dead. Oh, no, this guy. All right, so that's good. Kill you. Kill you. Take seven. We go to four. Basically alive. All right. Black mana. And it was not a black mana. It was actually the opposite of a black mana. Uh, what's known as a double black card. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we're bringing in the golden demise now, boys. Nope, that can stay. Um take out Okran Assassin because it dies. <clears throat> Probably also bring in Death Gorge Scavenger. I'll take out three Clan Callers because they die too. <coughs> I think that's probably okay. I think we're good like this. Boom, 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 I will play first. Yeah, we can keep this hand. <clears throat> this is a, this is a gem. This is a juicy gem. He plinks for one every time something dies. I like your use of plink there. That was a good, uh, that was some good plink usage. Oh, they went to six. They're basically dead. They can't compete. That was rude. However, we can exile our own Llanowar Elf now in game two, which is relevant. Not irrelevant. Not irrelf irrel elf That was terrible. Uh, we're going to play this Marwyn first, actually, because she just gets bigger. She doesn't actually get bigger with this guy, so maybe it's not important. We will play Marwyn, though, because nonetheless, we get to play Vivian next turn, so. Uh, no blocks, <clears throat> as you can imagine.
Ooh. We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. I think it's just Steel of Champion, right? Green, 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 and then we can play Scavenger as well. Yeah, that seems good. Well, that was a good one. So long, Vivian Reed. I guess she prevented six and drew us a card, though. That counts for something. Viv, Viv, Viv. Maybe we just keep Assassin's Trophy up here now. Yeah, I like that better. <clears throat> See, I also don't have a white here, which is unfortunate. What up, Johnny Big Large and Tulls? Really? This is how you're going to be? Okay. Rude. Basically just the rudest. Now we get to block here, and then we get a creature to eat that is not one of our own, which is nice. I guess we already had one, huh? White mana. Ooh. Ooh. Fascinating. I don't think we're there yet. Oof. Ugh. I'm basically dying. We giving out Legends <laughs> boosters? Yeah, of course. Definitely. Definitely doing that. <clears throat> they have one card in hand. That's pretty good. See, just, of course. But now we got the Golden Demise. So if they kill something... It actually just incentivizes me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana, so if we can draw, like... Yeah, this is going to be fine. Okay. Second Golden Demise. We got it. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We do not have City's Blessing yet. Got him. Mm, no bueno. Where are me good cards at? Oh, I found one. I found a good card, guys. Vivian Reed on an empty board is pretty OP. Uh, I believe all the tokens in the set are elves. So yeah, March of the Multitudes would be a an elf token. March could be a good addition. Ooh, Beastie Boy. Gonna tell you all the sabotage. If we had one more land, we can play this into the second Beast Whisperer. For now, I think I'm just gonna draw a land of world so I can guarantee a hit here. 
Nope, that's not going to do it. Let's play this. Pretty sure they're elf soldiers. Ooh. Everything's coming up Millhouse. March is just simple soldiers, really? Don't they have lifelink? You guys are always right, and I'm, a, I'm never right about these things, so. One on white soldier creatures are interesting. Dang. All right, well, never mind then. <clears throat> this went well. This was a good turn. Also, the timeline. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate the support. You're the hero we need. I'm going to pass because if they have any kind of removal spell, they can kill the clan caller and then we lose Beast Whisperer clan caller. I'll just take two here. Oh, another Kamara. One, two, three, four, five. Any one land would let us play Thorn Lieutenant. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah, we'll just steal Life Champion here. Wow. Okay, the game just ended. We were gonna play these two, so I think it was, I think it was pretty much a foregone conclusion, as they say. But uh, I don't hate these guys. They do block and they do hold down the fort. I'll take a clan color out for one of these guys. Everything else seems fine, though. Yikes. We're not gonna take it. We're not going... Why do I have this song stuck in my head? What is this, Quiet Riot? No, that's Come On, Feel the Noise. Um, I'm going to ship this hand, even though it's very, very good. Uh, this hand's great. I actually want this. Yeah, that's good. It makes all the other things good. Now we have Thorn Lieutenant into Steel Leaf Champion. Uh, what do you think of local Elgis metas? Is it a good thing or bad thing for standard deck building compared to... Uh, what do you mean? How do you, I'm not sure I understand the question. <coughs> actually don't want to play Isolated Chapel here because then we can't play Steel Leaf Champion on three. Whereas now we can go turn two, this guy, turn three, this guy, turn four, Chapel, uh, this guy, which is fine. That was also good. I guess. Maybe that's good. I don't know. Probably don't need it, but Twisted Sister? Okay. Appreciate it, guys. Preach. I get these weird, <clears throat> these weird, uh, these weird emails from like, from like spam from YouTube, right? Right from people like, "Hi, I reached out to you about your awesome YouTube video a while ago, but I never heard back. I loved your video, and I think you should be getting it seen." Like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> like, my videos are magic content. Really, you think I should be getting that seen? Come on, dude. Like, you're not even trying. Yeah, we're definitely attacking here. I 
you should really be getting I loved your video your one video and you should really be getting it seen wow you just happened to you don't even mention the specific video you just happened to see one and you're like this is the one this one has to be seen by people really 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 I can, I can do I can do really deep voice guys <laughs> Jesus uh, we're probably just gonna play Beast Whisper. They could kill it, but I don't care. I don't care. I'm probably just gonna sit back and like they're gonna probably spend their turn killing the Beast Whisper. I would imagine because that guy kind of runs away with games, and we're definitely not the aggressive deck here. So I'll just I love that one too. To be fair, yeah, it was a good one, right? Man, mono mono pirate boys. You should be getting it seen that one video, and I can help you for the low low price of ten thousand dollars. What a deal! But you must act now because if you don't, it jumps up to forty five thousand dollars, which is our standard rate. Can you even imagine? Can you even comprehend the discount we're giving you right now? That's a two for one. I'm okay with that. Oh my god, I'm just getting so mad. My highest view kind of video on channels for doing grand is from 2012 with the early days of Diablo 3. I I you should link me to it because I need to see it clearly. I need a, a removal spell. None of these things are what I asked for. <clears throat> God, there's so many decks in this format you just want golden demise for. Like this deck. The red white deck, the Merfolk deck. This format is just red white dot deck or golden demise dot deck. This is so many goblins. All right, we'll do it. <clears throat> so you can shoot one of these dudes. You can kill. You can sack Firebrand, and you can sack another Goblin. So it's basically kind of like a four, four, four objects for two objects, and we get a guy from the Thorn Lieutenant. That's fine. And we also dealt them three. Guys, we finished the mac and cheese. It's done. Doesn't really do much. They got this guy on board. Hmm. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Is that excited I got there? I did a little I did a little dance there. And then it was like, oh dang, it's not that great. It leaves these three guys alive. I like that you ask, was it amazing? But like I've been eating it the whole time. It's not like I, I only found out at the last bite whether it was amazing or not. It was very good. I don't know what to do here. Golden Mines or Thorn Lieutenant? Interesting, interesting. What is this link you're sending?
You're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. God, I really need to get rid of this idiot, right? Oh, you need the post digestion shots. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. That makes sense. Does it though? Hmm. These are the questions we ask ourselves. Jokes on you guys. Still a couple bites of soup left. I clicked on the Twitter link and it said. Like, it opens in this Twitter app. Oh, found it. <clears throat> is this path? What is this path? What is this path to exile link? Path of exile. What is that? Like, is this a... Are they just... Are they just trolling Diablo here huh all right well When are you cooking for us? <clears throat> That's a good question. That is a good question. See you later. Yep. Something good. Uh, <clears throat> taking six from Doris and Golden Demise in hand doesn't seem great. However, um... I don't really feel like playing Golden Demise and letting them keep their 3-3, three, 3-3, three, 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 three. That seems bad. So now we're going to take three here. Probably going to take five. And then we're going to take another two. Gross. Oh, I actually take two here instead. So they're going to sack for two, sack for two. So we go to 11. I'll sack for two more. We go to nine, but then they have nothing on board and no cards in hand. So that's good. Oh, hold on. Let's not do that. Let's go black, black, black. Demise. Oh, wow, they F6, so that was great. <laughs> All right, so we stay at 13 then. Nice. Nice. I'll block. What gains us the life? A creature? All right, let's do that. <clears throat> like siege gang here would be pretty bad okay vanquishers banner sure that's fine oh yeah got him got him five six seven eight we will exile a spell and nine you. That's what's known as exaxes.
All right. So <clears throat> I'm just going to make this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make more changes here just so you know. <clears throat> I feel like we're doing ourselves a disservice by not playing Amara, especially because Amara makes not elves. Dang it. I demand a recount on the Tootsie Roll. How dare you? Why are we? So here's a question. Why are we erring towards black instead of a white with this deck? Like, the only thing we have for black is Veraska's Contempt and Assassin's Trophy. Whereas, like, we get a lot more... Uh, I don't think we actually are trying to go aggro. I don't know, though. Hard to say. We get a lot more white cards. Like, we can play um, Imara. We can play... We could play Conclave Cavalier if we wanted to. I guess we don't actually have to choose because it's Abzan, so we can just do both. Golden Demise was MVP, though. That was a... God, I'm so smart. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know how smart I was? All right, so. I don't know why you did that. That's weird, Magic Online. I'm going to add two more temples. <clears throat> so we should have uh, add another Sun Pill Grove. I'm going to take out. Is Clan Caller good enough? Probably it's. I think we just want four Amaras. Or at least three Amaras. I think it's better than Assassin here. Do we have any Convoke cards that are good? Oh, we have... Ooh, I like this. Maybe. Maybe I like it. I don't know. Magic's a hard nut to crack. If the creature's power is greater than Pelt Collectors, put a 1-1 counter on it. I had an idea. Thanks for confirming. I got you guys. Definitely news to me. Well, yeah, I don't like to brag about it, except for when I do. But other than that, I don't, except for when I do. Nailed it. I don't think we're an Izoni deck. We're not going to put creatures in the graveyard. Does someone hit Marwin three times? No, I think it's when, yes, yes, it does. Three elves enter the battlefield. There's a green-white elf deck that was roaming around for a while, so I thought I'd give... Okay. I think the black is fine. Um, I was just curious why we erred on the side of, of you know, predominantly black and not white, per se. Sixty-one cards. I'm actually almost not even a fan of clan color, just because everything else is bigger already. I also feel like we can cut the druids of the cowl. Maybe clan caller can stay. You can stay clan caller. Why don't, I feel like we want a fourth beast whisperer, to be honest. That's an engine, if you ask me. An engine. What if this is our... Hmm. I want to cut Vraska's Contempt, because it's very good. With no Convoke, I, mean, I could see that, but how about, this is going to be easier on the mana. I think we want uh, Conclave Tribunal instead of Vraska's Contempt. Because it, it does, a, I mean, it's, it's a very similar card. Oh, there's also 25 lands, so we get to cut a land here, which is great. Because now we can just jump right in. Let's try this out. Um... Uh, we were having problems. Like, we definitely want to hit your land drops, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, you definitely want to don't want to cut down to 20... F because we still have 4 drops, 5 drops, and 6 drops.
Like a phoenix from the internet tubes. Oh boy. <clears throat> Come on, people. Come join our our life. I'm trying to finish this soup so I can be done with it. It's mostly just like, it's mostly just broth now. If you can even call it that. I don't know what you'd call, I don't know if it is broth to begin with. I will play first. Uh, this hand seems great. I will keep it all day, every day. Name a day, I'll keep it on that day. We got two drops, we got three drops, we got four drops, we got removal. Slurp closer to the mic? Sure, we can do that. I either got a whole lot more subscribers or a whole lot less from that one. god that's gas dude we're having a good time everybody's winning this is all i wanted in life <laughs> fantastic highland lake into field of ruin i'm intrigued into treasure map all right we're doing it we're living the dream do we just go super aggro and play this guy or do we play the marwin in hopes that oh, that was a good draw now I don't have to play this this land and take two. I guess we just play this, right? I want to get that pressure on. Are you going to be streaming next week, or will we have to find? I will definitely be streaming next week. I don't care about holidays. I don't get paid if I don't stream, so that's basically how Twitch and YouTube treat me. Please slurp with your back to the mic to hide your shame. <laughs> oh God, I'm so uncomfortable right now. I mean, you guys all have I Am Valley Man to thank for this. He was the arbiter of this uh, delicious uh, stream snack, if you will. All right, well. Can we send you turkeys? Only if they're live. Um, there's so many. Okay, this is going to sound. You guys are. I, I can't even express opinions like this without people being like. That's such a stupid opinion, but I mean, it's whatever. Like, there's so many millions of turkeys that are just slaughtered for Thanksgiving that, like, I don't know. Let's minimize that. Let's try to let's try to to minimize it in any way, shape, or point, or, or any way, shape, or form possible. Like, like I'm not even saying don't have Thanksgiving. I'm just saying like, let's try to be reasonable about it. <clears throat> we can get turkey pot pies from, uh, you know, two, three. Let's play Marwin because we get to draw a card. I'll eat some tofu. I'll eat some tofurkey. Tofu literally just tastes like whatever ingredients you mix it with or or put on it. Like, I have soy hot dogs and they taste like regular hot dogs. I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like I feel like we're either going to win very easily or lose spectacularly here. Bob, way to go, buddy. That is actually I mean, I think I think that's a, an incredibly reasonable thing to do. Like I also I don't begrudge anyone for eating meat. I'm never like, hey, don't eat any meat. It's crazy. Like you can eat you can eat meat. It's whatever. But um, you know, I think there's a way to be reasonable about it and not like. Anyway, I I personally don't want to get into the uh, the meat conversation because boy, we can. This is a thing. I'm gonna take the camaraderie out in this matchup. I probably just want to bring Rex Sages in. I have no idea what we're playing against. We saw a treasure map and I think an opt. 
and that was pretty much it. I feel like it's Thousand Year Storm is happening here, but, <coughs> you know, I don't know. I just work here. This is my first day, so. Old Man Silver, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. <clears throat> really appreciate it. What is it? What is it you say you do here? I'm a people person. <laughs> I'm the opposite of you. I'm a total meat lover. I respect everybody's choice. I'm not the. <laughs> oh man, can we make a thousand year storm plow under deck? Oh wow, that's. See, that's the kind of thing someone with no soul would say, which is that's so that's that's weird, right? Like. I feel like the only person that would say, can we make a thousand year storm plow under deck is the man with no soul. Hajikulashi, have a good night, buddy. Sometimes it's just time for the hood of shame. What's a soul? Exactly. All right, this is a turn two Steel Leaf champion, so we're going to keep this as well. And if we hit any land, we can Beast Whisper. Yes, I do have a green shirt. I can't put it on right this second because I am in the middle of doing things. But, oh. Oh, that's sad. <coughs> and by doing things, I mean streaming. anticipate whoa <clears throat> well I don't have it here right now I'm just going to play this Beast Whisper because it's the only thing I can play outside of Tribunal or Mara, So, And next turn we can go Imara and then if we hit a land we can go Conclave something. Maybe you'll play something that's stupid. Play your stupid thing. Shut up and take my money. Let's come back. <laughs> nice round. RPG or rather Badger. Thank you so much buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, there's nothing like getting a donation while you're playing the person who donated the deck and wearing a weird ass green hood that someone else sent you. It's basically the, uh, I think this is just peak stream right here. It's really, you can't really get higher than this. I think it's basically your, we've, we've ascended the, the Mount Everest of streaming. You might say. <clears throat> Badger, really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Ooh, Pirate's Pillage? This is 100% a Thousand Year Storm deck. However, that being said, I have no idea what that deck does. And I'm not even sure that I know what the card does. So, there you go. 
Yeah, I still don't understand how this is a real card either. This card is very strong. They're like, hey, it's okay. It's triple green. Is the going to be a hard to cast? And you're like, it's not. It's not going to be that. So, yeah. Also, this is slowly uh, going up over my mouth. So... Well, this is my life now. So you can either play Vivian Reed or you can just play Beast Whisper number two. I don't know what to do. I feel like there's a certain value to be had by playing this. Especially if we hit a Llanowar Elf here. Llanowar Elf! Dang it. Kerwit, this is one of the best this is one of the best investments in the stream I've ever gotten. So I'm a, I'm appreciative for this bad boy. All right, here we go. Okay, pirates pillage again. Okay, I don't think they can do anything broken without being untapped. 1 2 3 4 5 6 I don't know what's going on. I hope we don't get to see the storm deck off because I would lose, but I hope we do get to see it go off because that sounds cool, I guess. Thorn Lieutenant. Thorn Lieutenant Dan. That comment hurts my feelings. What is that? Why? What's the matter? I don't understand. Um. Hmm. We could go Vivian Reed into, like, destroy one of these. That doesn't seem great. I think we want to start with Thorn Lieutenant here. Thorn Lieutenant Dan. Draw two cards. Clan Caller seems okay. Uh, we want to keep a white up in case we... <clears throat> or we could just play Steel Leaf Champion, which is a lot of pressure. We could hit a land here. Oh, man. There's a lot of decisions happening right now. Are they going to kill us next turn? No, we're going to go... We're going to do this. Play Clan Caller. <clears throat> and I'm definitely going to get rid of one of these. Which feels silly, but... I mean, we have three of them. And, um, I'll add a mana in response. Yeah, I know. We all know that's what you're going to do. And then we're going to go to the next step, and you're just going to waste it. You're not going to play anything. Oh, they are going to play. So they're going to they're gonna do a bunch of stuff right now? No. No. Yes, they're going to radical ideas. That's actually fine. Whatever. Anybody got time for that? I'm about to bust. <clears throat> I 
I mean, doesn't this did the, the enchantment alone cost six, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and they'd have one mana left over. That doesn't feel like they can do it. What did they lava coil? The clan caller? Sure. Hi, a uh, long time listener, first time clan caller. Joke's on you. I got clan callers for days, brah. Okay, where's my lands at, though? I'm getting a little... I might just do the same thing again, because if they couldn't go off last turn, I feel like they might not be able to go off this turn. Or we can keep up... Nah, we're probably just going to try to kill them here. <clears throat> we'll Conclave Tribunal. What's the deal? What's the deal with this attack? You can't block, and you have three cards. Trophy does hit Thousand Year Storm at instant speed, that's true. However, if they have Thousand Year Storm, they can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and cast it, and they would only have one trophy, one treasure left. Okay. Sure. Well, now they have one treasure left anyway, so I'm probably just going to... I'm probably just not going to do anything. Not going not gonna to do anything, that's for sure. I guess we have to play something here. We're going to discard two cards, huh? They have lethal on board. <clears throat> yep. Got him. All right. We will discard a Beast Whisper at this point. So yeah, we're at the point where like even if they play Thousand Year Storm, they have no mana to do anything else with it. I'm fixing a hole where the rain gets in. It stops my mind from wandering. That's a Beatles song. You guys know the Beatles? You guys ever hear of the Beatles? <coughs> they were originally called the Birdles, uh, and they were they're birds. They they played in bird costumes. Little known fact, no one knows that about the Beatles. The Birdles. And our opponent is like, they're tanking. The who what? No, not the who. The Be the Beatles. And we won the game. So we're 2-1 with this deck right now. Um, <coughs> I feel like the changes were good. I like the, the positive changes that we've exhibited here. Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy. We still have Assassin's Trophy. We still have Golden Demise in the sideboard, which I think is irrelevant. It's always nice to kill their creatures, but not your own. That's a good perk. Beast Whisperer is doing some work. I just like having powerful two drops, which is why I like Amara and Thorn Lieutenant. So let's try again. We'll see. Uh... It's weird to only have Assassin's Trophy in the main deck for black. But, like, the double black for Vraska's Contempt is actually a little hard to muster. Mustard? Mustard? Colonel Mustard? Mustard? <clears throat> 
I wasn't going to jump in this queue. I like waiting till the other person jumps in. But, uh... Yes. I'll keep this weird hand. Because we can get this guy on three. No, we can't. Oh, biscuits. Sun Petal Grove or Temple Garden. Come on, one time. No. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, you did. You did. He has been gotten. Man, that was such a strong got him. I think I came down with the case of the Ligma. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Golden Demise is coming in. Faux show. Oh, Biscuits. This is awkward. It's not an ideal draw. We can't play this guy next turn. We can't play any of these. Swamp, get out of here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, well, it's all downhill from here, folks. One land short of a chupacabra, am I right? That's what I, that's what you say about people when they're like, you're know, like that guy's one land short of a chupacabra, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna go to the next game because, despite this Thorn Lieutenant being a castable gentleman, uh, this is not in our best interest. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna take out the Marwins. They're a little slow. We're gonna take out the Clan Callers. They don't do anything. Um, we're gonna bring in Golden Demise. I'm gonna bring in at least three Rex Sages. Probably all the Rex Sages. I think that's good. <sighs> that guy is one one land short of a chupacabra, if you know what I mean. He's been like that for years. I haven't liked these just because they're four mana. I think that's my only issue with them. Uh, I don't think it matters how many colors there are in the deck when we have literally have three lands in the deck that can't cast a Steel Leaf Champion. So we have 21 lands that all cast Steel Leaf Champion on turn three. So I, the color, the number of colors is totally irrelevant. <clears throat> I will play first, and I will keep this, like you do. Ba -boom, boom, boom. Steal if champ me one time. Off the tippity top. 
It's not it. I asked you nicely. <coughs> Actually, should have played Overgrown Tomb. <laughs> I was like, well, we're going to attack, but that's not how that works. So that was a little... That being said, at the moment, it should not affect us because we're not going to play this. So we're probably just playing this guy. Should be fine. Oh, what does that even do? I don't even have any guys that entered the battlefield tapped. Or, and by that I mean come into play with abilities. No blocks? Blocks? Double block? Alright, <clears throat> deal. Look at all these enters the battlefield abilities. There's none. Banalish <laughs> Um We're just gonna attack with Umara, so I'm just gonna take two here. I think that's fine. They're not gonna block here, they're gonna block here. So that's cool. Oh, yeah, the 10 life to 94 life. Yeah, that was good stuff. I didn't even realize it. I was like, well, better gain some life because we're at 16. Oh, we're no longer at 16 life. I feel like we're ahead. Oh, Rustwing Falcon. And a baffling end. Huh. Okay. Seems good. Rex Sage would be great here. We could just Rex Sage their baffling end. Yeah, that guy's good too, I guess. One, two, one, two, three. You can also just block the two one ones, which is fine. And that's what they're going to do. Uh, thoughts on Arena? Arena's fine. MTGO is uh, in no way, shape, or form threatened by Arena right now. <clears throat> Fascinating. A millennial version of an obvious you just walk around the board paying rent. Every time you start to amass any money, you're like, oh, a medical expense. Oh, a car payment. Oh, well, I guess I just don't have any wealth. 
Learn how to live past go to past go. Oh, great. I'm having a good time. Did you just trade here? If we attack with everything, like they can't block this guy. They're gonna have to they're gonna have to block this guy here. Yeah, I guess we're just attacking with all, because you know what? YOLO. I feel like you're just gonna block here, and maybe you do the same one and one thing. Sure. And when you pass go, instead of getting $200, you get 20 bucks. <clears throat> this is weird that they're not, like, pumping these guys. This is a lot of lands as well. No blocks. You still get 200, but each property has an extra zero. So you're like, well, this is cool. Maybe in a thousand years, I can actually uh, get out of this uh, this hot mess. Golden Demise is worse when they have one, three, and four fall on board. But I do kind of want to get rid of Vanguard. Or at least make them... Yeah, we can pass here. Listen for several hours to stories about how they amassed their fortune by hard work you can learn from. When I was your age, I had a job and I worked 30 hours a week. I was able to save $4,000 every week and buy a house by my 21st birthday. Why can't you be that way? Why don't you go fuck yourself? How do you think I paid for my $600 a year college tuition? We might be able to cut one land from the deck. Let's be real. Let's be real. Oh, we also don't have a second black, so our option to even play uh, Golden Demise is not within our grasp here. I used to cut lawns for three weeks, and then I was able to put a down payment on a car. What are you, insane? <laughs> you sound like the Kingpin from the Daredevil series on Netflix. This is my city. I'm just going to block here. What are they going to do? They're going to trade? They're going to go to one? No. Just alpha here, man. Come on. Just alpha. Come on. Come on. Bring it. How can I be laughing but super sad at the same time? Uh, you're laughing at the accuracy. Accuracy. You laugh at the accuracy. But you're crying at the pain because that's real. So, similar but different. Oh, yeah. Just keep playing these idiots. Just keep them coming. It's going to be. It's. Are you ready for the overgrown battlement tomb? Golden Demise number two. Not good. Not good. Where do we want to go with this deck? I don't know. I feel like we should have been uh, we should have been good there. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting, interesting. Cut one Mara. Two is good. Two's good. Two's good. Two's good. <clears throat> 
Uh, I like the Beast Whisperer. We can cut one land, too, I guess. Cut one swamp. Ooh, what do we add now? I'm excited about what we can add. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm excited about its existence. <coughs> it looks like it became amazing lately. Well, yeah, so it's like in season like nine or something. I don't know. I couldn't get into Gotham. I thought the acting was pretty bad. Ugh. Manolith. <laughs> you know what? Manolith is probably not the card we're going to add here. Okay, okay. Maybe it is just Pelt Collector. What if we add, like, Pelt Collector? I can see us adding Vraska, too. Like, because we have Ramp. We have, like, Llanowar Elves. We have Marwyn. Like, we have ways to play those cards earlier. I want to put two of these in and we'll see what that does. Mm. So I actually really liked Arrow and Flash for the longest time. And so what I think one of the problems is with shows like that is because they're network shows, they're forced to have like 23, 24 episodes a season. And that's a ridiculous amount of episodes. Like you look at like Netflix or AMC or FX and they have 10 to 13 episode shows. Right, Justified had 13 episodes a season. Netflix has 13 or 10. Um, Better Call Saul just had 10 episodes. Like, <clears throat> oh, Unclaimed Territory is nice. Oh, see, now you're talking. Um, I will play first. Oh, one of these were... I'll keep it anyway. So, like, when you have... <clears throat> Of course, they're excellent, but you don't. the point is you don't have to rush and put a bunch of filler in the show if you only have 10 to 12 episodes. That's why they're so good, I think, because when you're forced to find 24 episodes of content per season, like, holy shit, you're just going to get run out of out of content so, so quickly. Like over three seasons, Flash has over 75 episodes. Whereas a regular show has 30. Like, it's just not reasonable. It's 45 extra episodes. Like, that's just crazy. Oh, uh, Luke Cage is actually fantastic. Luke Cage actually has like 80 to 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, Luke Cage has 88% on Rotten Tomatoes. Luke Cage is a fantastic show. Let's look at Gotham on Rotten Tomatoes. Thank you. Seventy-eight, which is significantly better than I expected. I am I am pleasantly surprised by that bad boy. Matthew, what do you, what is your issue with social justice warrior stuff? Like, I mean, like here's here's the thing on social justice warrior stuff. Everyone in the world is not as equally represented as you are. You are a white dude in the United States of America. Not everyone has as much representation or or even the same caliber of treatment that you have. And sometimes it's necessary to uh, make sure people have representation. Like, I don't understand why people are, are bothered by that. And it's always white guys who are bothered by that. No offense to you. I love you, buddy. But it's never like, you never see a, a, a woman getting offended by social justice warrior stuff. You never see anyone of, of a non-white origin getting upset at social justice warrior stuff. It's always white guys. And that's weird, right? <clears throat> I don't know what they're playing, so I'm just going to submit like this. Who 
who's okay so every day they have to push for more who's they who is they we're talking about and it's nice that you see that's my point though it's nice that you as a white male in the united states have the luxury of not caring do you not understand that like you are in such a privileged position you can live your life and never give a shit about who has representation and who doesn't you don't have to care it never affects you for other people though it's exhausting for them too because they're living it <laughs> like that's what i don't understand thank you that's incredible to me i'll keep this hand bob thanks so much for the sub really appreciate it like to be in such a position where you can be like i don't even want to hear about other people's representation anymore because you have yours Not a day goes by where you're like, man, I hope I'm uh, not discriminated against today. Boy, I hope I'm, uh, I, I hope I don't have any sort of attacks based on my skin color or my origin or my religion. Never, it never happens. Never going to happen. <clears throat> what do you mean got what they fought for? I don't think that's true, dude. <laughs> I don't think that's true at all. And if that was true, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Like, here's the thing. The fact that you think... I don't even know what you're referring to, to be honest with you. Matthew, your religion does not get attacked daily. I guarantee you Christianity does not get attacked as, as frequently as you think it does. Um... So what's the, like, okay, what's the, <laughs> what do you mean controlling schools and fighting Christian? No one's fighting Christianity. What they're doing is fighting for, for, for Christianity to not be taught in schools because it's not oh man no one teaches islam in school and islam is not oh matthew stop it's hurting Yeah, this is why we... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know. I think it got... I think it got a little too far. Yeah, I don't think teaching is... Like, if... Okay, let's say they do teach Islam in schools. Um, I think teaching a religion is fine. I don't think promoting a religion is okay. Um, which I think are two very, very different things. Actually, we might draw Imara here. So I'm going to go, I'm going to keep up one of each of these beautiful colors. I don't think anyone is promoting. What, can you link me to something where that's promoting Islam? Like, I've never even heard of this before. I've never heard of any school promoting Islam. And like, I don't. Like that feels like some Fox News stuff that's just not not real. Uh, yep, yeah, this is actually I'll, uh, we can we can Vivian read one of these guys. That's pretty cool. I like a good Vivian Reed. Unfortunately, she does die after that, but. Yeah. 
Yes, the majority of Fox News is actually extremely biased and not not real. This actually, I mean, this is actually they they've there's credible news on this. Yes, there's credible credible sources that have confirmed this. Yep, it's got to be this guy because they just flip it. So I'm just gonna pass here. Oh, they're just going face with this guy. That's interesting. Anyway, this got a little out of hand, and I we we should just really um, let's. Wow, what is the deal with all these Star of Extinctions in the format? Oh, they have one card in hand? This is good for us, because we have a Vivian Reed. I'm just going to sit here and keep playing. It's nope, it's not good to let people talk like this, unfortunately. I mean, you're welcome to talk, but uh, I don't want to do it in my stream because this is my platform, not not everyone else's to uh, express their uh, political views so we can argue and fight. And also, people aren't here for that. People are here for magic content, so... I'm tempted to just play this to draw the card. I actually think it's worth it because they have not much here. How do I like this deck compared to the previous one? That's that feels forced. Well, that's unfortunate because now they just get to play it. Really? Why do you give me another chance to get, kill this guy if I want to? If I get a, if I had the option, that's fascinating to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make you a little larger. One, two, three, four, five, six, draw four. Do we play a land? No. So this is gonna be four, so we can go clan caller and lieutenant and other elf. Yeah, might as well take this. Play a land or elf. Clan Caller and Attack doesn't do anything because they just block with Rekindling Phoenix, then they comes back the very next turn. Um, so we're actually just going to play Clan Caller and Thorn Lieutenant here and just hope they don't top deck anything ridiculous like a Star of Extinction. Because this is a sizable Marwin right here. Marwin's a 6-6, six, six, yeah, but that what does that mean? She doesn't have Trample. Right? Like, I mean, they can still block with Phoenix and it still comes back on their turn, right? Sure. Here comes Nicol Bolas. 
Yeah, we're definitely getting another clan caller. Yep. <laughs> That's a... Predicted it. All right. Seems good. They draw, draw a card. Perfect mana. They have eight mana. I can cast this. Cast Nicol Bolas. Uh, we can't get another clan caller because you have to tap them. And this, we just played it, so... You guys know we just played this, so it has summoning sickness, right? So they have four blockers. They're going to take six here, at least. Uh, the Thorn Lieutenants just can't die, which is nice. They they don't block with Nicol Bolas, I bet. Oh, they do. Yeah, they can, they can get a free block there. So they take six. They go to six. Yep, all right. So they have eight in the air. I don't think they can kill us here. This is actually out of range of Nicobolus. This is the uh, most powerful mother here. I do like Flower Flourish. It might be better than Assemble, to be quite honest, but we can actually, maybe we can cut a land for a Flower Flourish, just to have like a one of. Ooh, no attack with the chicken is interesting. You gonna flip this guy? Draw two, perhaps? Okay. I think you're still dead, though, right? Like, there's a lot of damage here. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to search for another clan caller here. So, all right. Win that one again. This is pretty sweet. I feel like this deck is uh, better now. I think these are obviously kind of... These are kind of like whatever spots. I mean, you kind of want to play them at six, but you also kind of like the ability to... Uh, I was, I like the ability to protect Beast Whisper. Um, but yeah, I think the deck is sweet as it is. I'm not sold on the Poison-Tipped Archers, but I think they're good. I, mean, I think they're fine. Um, also against the Aggro decks, maybe like you can get a bunch of extra damage in. I'm not sure. Um, but either way, I mean, I think the deck is good here. I think you definitely want the four Steel Leaf Champions. Um... I, I like Imara. I think it's a fine two drop. It goes well with Thorn Lieutenant to make sure you have a two drop if you don't necessarily get Lana War into Steel Leaf Champion. Um, they also, they're elves, so they trigger like Marwyn. They grow with uh, Clan Caller and they, they trigger Beast Caller, Beast Whisperer, so not bad. But uh, hopefully, Badger, hopefully uh, you appreciated these these changes. Hopefully the deck uh, seems a little bit more, a little more stable than. Night of Autumn. I think Night of Autumn is good. Night of Autumn might be better than Poison Tip Archer in the sideboard. Like, the four life might just be better. I agree with the life and the and the ability to... Actually, it's probably better than Rex Sage, to be quite honest. If we are playing white, like, this is just a better Rex Sage. Yeah, I mean, it's going to do the same thing for three mana. Um, only it's also going to be able to gain life or put counters on it. Oh, when you said Sage, I was thinking something else. I, yeah, that's literally, that's exactly what you said, actually. Yeah, I think it's, I think it doesn't matter if it's an elf. I don't know why I wasn't, when you said Sage, I was thinking like, um, I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. If you want to have your own deck critiques, you can definitely check me out on either of those. There's information on how to do it. My email address is also in the description below. You can use that. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, where you get 15% off and free shipping and free returns and uh, hopefully uh, you guys will check that out because it helps you it helps me you get a free one you got a free onesie but you get free shipping and free returns on a, on a sweet onesie and uh you know come on everybody wants a onesie but thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time take it easy